Hi, everybody. Hey, what's up, Scott? Hello, guests from Colorado, far away. How are you? Hey, I've got something here I want to show you. This is um, pickups. You know, we just got in these throwback pickups, and, and a, a lot of times people uh, talk about the output of the pickup, which is actually measured in resistance. So here's what you do if you want to measure the output of your pickup and compare to whatever. You get yourself a little multimeter. You can get this anywhere. Most hardware stores, Amazon, and you turn it to the little omega sign right there, and that is measuring ohms, right? And then you take a, any cord, doesn't matter, and you take the red, which is positive, always, red's always positive, and the black, which is generally ground. Now on your typical guitar cord, the tip, when you plug it in, this is hot, and the sleeve, that's ground. So if you put your negative there and your hot here, you can measure the output of the pickup. What you wanna do is turn your volume pot to 10. So you're measuring the full measure of the pickup. It's not choked back. And then you'll see this, whoops, here, I'm gonna turn this so you can see and the camera can see. We put this and this here, and you'll see this pickup measured about six, five. Now we take and switch this to the neck pickup. And again, make sure you're full up on that. And we measure these two together. And this is now the neck pickup measures about six, nine which for a pickup that is much smaller than the first one, is kind of amazing. And pickups are interesting things because you'll see cheaper pickups will have magnets attached to the bottom, like this one. But these are actually metal slugs. And then the, the magnetism is drawn up to the steel slug. This is a cheap way of making a pickup. To make a good pickup, these slugs themselves, your pole pieces are magnets and how they're made, nickel, aluminum, cobalt. The more cobalt that's in the mix, the softer the magnetic field will be. And as the, as the string waves over the magnetic field, um, with a nice soft El Nico magnet, it's allowed to freely go back and forth over the pickup without the pull of a strong magnetic pull. These magnets attached to the bottom tend to be pretty heavy duty magnets. And a well-made magnet is, is something that's kind of expensive to make. And then of course they're wrapped in coils. But that is how to tell your output of a pickup is put it on ohms, on your multimeter, these are cheap, and you can measure that. And by the way, the same thing happens for measuring speaker cabinets. You can measure the impedance of any speaker cabinet by just doing this. You don't need to put an amp through, you just plug it into the jack of any speaker cabinet and you can measure the impedance the ohms or the impedance of the speaker cabinet. But today is only about pickups. There's that. We got these throwback pickups in and they're really these, look at this website because these guys have the science of this down. Okay, that's it. That's all I got.